Round nine in Super Rugby AU. It's the Brumbies at home at GIO Stadium in Canberra, hosting the Western Force. What a special night for Amy Perrett, mother of one Liam. Senza have appointed her yep. for her first ever game of Super Rugby. First female assistant ref in Super Rugby a few years ago. Controlled over 100 matches on the Women's Sevens World Series. Rio Olympics, Women's World Cup Final, Shoot Shield in Sydney. And tonight, Amy says it's just another game. Now Godwin up against his old team. Still there for the force. Pryor. Lee Warner reached out. It's a try. They got there in the end. Brumbies really had their defence set pretty well. But it was the power here. Just reached out. In his sixth season now with the Western Force after leaving the Brumbies, and his first shot of the night is a good one. And right. Gives it plenty of air. Braki chasing. Can't get a hand on it. It bounces and it sits up for Kata on the inside now. Is Will Miller and he's got right. He gives it to right and he finishes. There it is. Third time lucky for the Brumbies. Denied twice in the first half. Not that time. This bomb wasn't a good one. Everyone let it bounce. And the... So Kahui falls over there. Carter picks it up, finds Miller. He could have probably straightened and gone under the post himself, but he used the speed out wide. Brilliant. But Powell asks for the ball. Simone. Kunzel. And some footwork from Banks. Banks! He's over! <laughs> nice move from the Brumby. Started shallow, then went wide. Gave him plenty of space, and he backed himself. Time for a kickoff, and Banks says that'll do us. He puts it into touch. That is half time at GIO Stadium in Canberra. Force got out to the lead with the try to Fergus Lee Warner, converted by Ian Pryor. And then the Brumbies have hit back with two tries one to Tom Wright, one to uh, Tom Banks. And so at half time, it is 10 points to seven. Right to Al Alatoa, Simone. Got the ball away to the support. They're only about four out now, and Banks is looking for a double. White goes in digging. Wide they go, and it is a try. Beautifully positioned to take that. Banks offloads or it's Kahui. Kahui wobbly boots, and then Wide goes the pass. Lovely, right across the face of the defence. What does he have to do to get one from in front? But this one is going to come around nicely for him. Now it's Godwin. Tackle had to be made. It was a good one by Fayanga. Good pick up. Jono Lance is through. He's over. Western Force hit back. Quick ball coming out. That's what you want. You want your fly half or your standoff or your decision maker getting that ball in his hands on top of the defence. They make a mistake. Back your legs through the tackle. Really well played, John O'Lance, and really well organised by the Western Force. He has now scored 100 points for the Force in Super Rugby. There's another couple. They keep it in tight. It's a good tough line. But there's space out wide, and Lenny Eckertow! says thank you very much the two different runners there the london's line there you got three runners moving the defense didn't know where to go he nails another one <laughs> Simone calling for it again puts a little kick in for banks and for Muir ahead and who got there first Muir ahead thinks he has who's okay. claiming it Coops, um, I've got an on-field try. Can you just tell us who got there first, please? Mate, there's no conclusive evidence to overturn your on-field decision, so it is a try. Try to the Brumbies. Looking to add the extra two, no problem. 20, 20, out. Out. Atkins, Lance, oh, poor pass. 
picked up by Kahui. Strong, floating with the touch line, got away from Muirhead, the inside ball to Godwin. They try and push him into touch, and they do. Touch. And that'll do it. It was 17-14 to the Brumbies in the 56th minute, but then late tries to Ikutau, and Muirhead got them out to 31 points to 14. The Brumbies with a bonus point victory.